This right here is the mechanical master I wanted for Christmas. It is a um, broken control tank. It has all kinds of features, of course, you can see. The turret moves, both treads. It's all motion control and different actives. And actually, this big gun actually does shoot something. It can shoot. And voila! Ooh, bring it closer. Let's check this out. This tank took me about 12 hours to build. And it's been the most frustrating thing I've ever built in my whole life. All right, Matthew, how's the building coming so far? Crazy. So far, I'm on step 101 out of 226 wow. steps. Wow. There's 200 and 226 steps, and I'm only on 101. Let's see what you've got so far. I have parts of the two tr uh, tread devices, and I'm working on the, the base. Okay. And with this base, I'll, I believe the next one I'll be doing is actually making the big um, thing that goes on top with the gun. The turret. Yep, the turret. Okay. Well, I think, or it might become the treads I put the treads on. All right, we'll check in later and see how it's coming. See ya. Bye. Right now, I am going to have to uh, count to 59 of these pieces and disconnect. This is a tread. I had to count to 59, disconnect it, and attach them here. Did you have to connect all those? Yep. Or were they already connected? It, nope. I had to connect 118 pieces. Let's see it. That is one little piece. And I had to connect all of that. This is 118 pieces right there. All right. And right now, I am on step 111. All right. Sounds good. We'll check back later. See you later. Bye. All right, so the treads, I put on many treads before in the past, but so far this is, has been the most difficult I've ever done. I actually had to really t pull harder and tight, for it, that way it stays nice and tug on top. It's very difficult to, to get these treads on. What step are you on? I'm right now, I believe I'm on step number... 124. Okay. And I still got a long way to go. I still uh, got about 102 steps to go. How long did it take you to put the treads on there? 10 minutes. Okay, not bad. Not bad, but still, it's very difficult. So we'll catch up later again. Sounds good. Bye. Comes with four orange uh, Lego bullets. How do you turn it on? Of course, here you just flip this, and you just flip this button. You flip this open, and you take this. Look, there's a little switch, mm -hmm. and you flip it to on. Okay. So let's do this. Okay. Of course, if you move this back, you can just move the machine gun around. The, the thing does shoot. It fires, and all you have to do is just remove, open, the, open this canister up, pull this little launch out, mm -hmm. Take a, take a bullet, lock this in, and lock into these two special holders for it. Put it down, and voila, you're all set to fire again. Now does the turret turn all the way around? Not completely. Let's see. It, uh, that right. is as far as it can turn. See? Oh, okay. And how do you like it? Would you, would you, would, are you happy with it? Would you suggest it for someone else? Yes, I 
could tell someone else to get this too. And I would. I love this thing. Of course, this can also open. That's basically how people get in. Mm -hmm. Tanks. It's up. Two antennas. And it is able to climb. It can go over bumpy area, sort of. It's good on carpet, hardwood, I believe even grass and dirt. Even those, even those small rocks. Actually, the, the wheels that, that make the tread go are, have a spring that allows them to go down and up. Oh, okay. But that way they can handle like rocky areas and stuff. Also, a little, if you rotate it back, back again, you can actually uh, pull this out if you want. Just to have some fun and look at some things if you want to see your work. And it is like four wires connected to one box. This is a, the amazing tank. All right, I'm proud of you for doing it. You did a great job building it. Thank you. All right, bye. Have a great time. And have, I hope you do get this. Alright everyone, hope you liked that review from Matthew. Now to give a parent's perspective on it and kind of see what I, what I thought of it. Uh, this was $89 uh, on Amazon that we bought. He saw it, he wanted it. He's pretty good at Legos. So I was like, okay. I was a little worried because you know how it is, they do Legos and they end up just in a box of being away, you know, in their own pieces for a while. Don't think this one will be. It feels pretty sturdy. Doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart. Uh, I, I can't say it's, you know, not going to, pieces aren't going to fall off, but it's not too bad. I mean, when you, you lift the, when you lift that up, I do wish this would elevate a little bit or something, but all in all, I can't say. The only downside, uh, the, the pros of it are the bricks are, are, are well made, so it's not just cheap, cheap plastic. Uh, the instructions was impressive. I mean, it had 200 and something uh, things, and he was able to go ahead and work on each little task. Uh, and, uh, he said it was a little bit uh, difficult at times, but all in all, I think the instructions did well. I uh, said so he did it without any help. The only time I ever helped him was I held it up so he could put the uh, uh, attach some uh, wires there at the bottom to the uh, to its uh, little engines, if you will. Uh, so it, and it feels you know, say pretty good. Now the cons that I have is it's only supposed to be used on hardwood floors, as you can see from the video. We put it on carpet, took it out in the grass a little bit, uh, and on the driveway. Not too sure what that would do. It probably wear off these a bit so that the battery life is only 20 active minutes uh, for every uh, hour and a half of charge so the hour and a half charge isn't too bad but um, you know just 20 minutes I guess for a remote control it's not that bad the battery I think could have been bigger to give a little bit longer life but uh, it's not too bad and the only thing that my, I asked my son when he said one of the cons uh, he, he thought of it as uh, some of the pieces he said were hard to figure out which one was which so it was kind of a little bit tough to distinguish which one. For me, I say that feels great. The remote, not really impressed. It, it works. Um, it's, you know, plasticky, this and that. You can see by... Doesn't look like anything will, would break off though, uh, but it's definitely not a very robust, incredible remote. Uh, it works. The syncing's easy. You turn it on here, you turn it on there. There's no syncing that I can find. 
So you just turn it on and if it, if it uh, blinks, it means you're not connected. If it does uh, blink solid, then you're connected. So all in all, not too bad, I guess. Say so for $90, was it worth it? Uh, it was great to see my son do this and work hard at it. So I'm very proud of him. And I think it's all, all in all, it's a good toy and I do recommend it. And if I had another nephew or someone who wanted to get something like this, I would not hesitate to buy this again. So we hope you found this review, uh, this review helpful. And if you did like it, hit that like button and subscribe as well because we'll be coming up with uh, many more reviews uh, to come. Thank you for watching.